So starting off with foundation, I'm going to be taking a damp beauty blender and my e.l.f. Flawless Skin Foundation in the shade Porcelain, dabbing that all over my face and blending it out nicely. So now I'm taking my e.l.f. under eye concealer and adding that to my under eyes to give it a bit of lift and also cover my dark circles and blending that with the same damp beauty blender. So now moving on, we're going to set the face and the under eye concealer with a setting powder. I am using the CoverGirl Clean Sensitive Skin in the shade 205 Ivory. And I'm going to be patting that all over my face with a fluffy brush. So for the first palette I'll be using is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. I'll be using this for the majority of the look, just to let you guys know really quickly. And um, I'm going to be using the first shade, which is a beige peach shade, all over my lid and in my crease with a flat synthetic brush to give me a good base for the rest of the look. So for the second shade, I'm going to be using number three in the palette, and I'm going to be taking that into from the middle of my crease and the middle of my lid out to the outer corner and blending that in with my e.l.f. blending brush. So now taking 5 and 8, I'm going to be blending those together on my brush and then adding it to the outer corner to deepen it and make it more darker, blending it just a slight bit inwards to make it more of a smoky and also blended out look. I'm also going to be making sure that I mainly concentrate on the outer portion of my eye and not very much in the inner area because I want to leave, leave that nice and light and soft in the inner area more or less than the outer corner. So 
So now to furthermore blend out the darker darkness, I really don't like a really, really dark look in the first place, just saying myself, I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. angled blush brush and just kind of going over the darker shade to kind of give it a more blended look because it was looking really patchy and kind of dark in certain areas, so I was just going to try to blend it out a little bit more. So taking a flat synthetic brush that is an angled one, I'm going to be taking the same shade we just used and applying that three quarters of the way into my lash line just to give it a more smoky look. So now we're going to be taking the black shade in the palette and we're going to be taking the same thin angled brush and adding that as close as we can to our lash line to kind of give a liner effect. So this part is completely optional, but I'm going to be using the LA Colors Glamorous palette and I'm going to be adding the white glimmer shade onto the rest of my inner corner and underneath the rest of my lash line to give it more of a pop just like Taylor has in her original look and also just to kind of give it more of a glamour look. And for this I'm also going to be using a very small fine tip synthetic brush to apply this to my eyes just so that it kind of gives it more of like the illusion that is giving more product on the brush and also just kind of making it easier for me to apply the product to my lid and under eye area. So in Taylor's original look, you can definitely tell that she's wearing a light falsies because I don't personally wear falsies. I'm going to be using a mascara that kind of gives a falsies effect. And for me, that is the Lash Blast Fusion, which is the purple tubed um, mascara by CoverGirl. And I find that it gives the most natural falsies look without having to use falsies. So that's what I'm going to use for this look. I'm going to be adding that to the top and bottom lashes, just so you guys know because I forgot to mention that. And since Taylor had a very light flush look for her blush, today I'm going to be using the Billy Cosmetics blusher in the shade Rosewood just to give me a light blush and kind of more flush to my skin.
So now for contour, I'm going to be using my Essence Contour Bronzer Highlight Palette and I'm going to be taking it with the e.l.f. Angled Blush Brush and I'm just going to be doing the three shape contour on my jawline, my cheekbone and on my forehead to give it more of a tone color I guess you could say. And then I'm also going to be adding my highlighter with a fluffier brush on my cheekbones and my bridge of my nose and then later on my cupid's bow. So to give me that signature Taylor red lip, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Ravishing Rose lipstick and I'm going to be taking a makeup sponge later on and just patting it down a little bit to kind of mute the color just a little bit because I'm not a big fan of bright red lipstick on myself at least. So I kind of like to mute it down just a little bit to also kind of make my lipstick long lasting. watching if you guys like this kind of video please hit that like button and I want to quickly thank Chelsea Mercer for if I hope I'm saying your last name right for helping me inspire me to do these videos she is the one that actually emailed me on YouTube asking me if I could do a uh, somewhat of a series of this kind of thing because she didn't know how to do certain looks on her own and I completely understand and I really really like the fact that she did email me so if you guys have any questions comments or concerns or if you guys have another kind of series you guys want me to do, or any kind of celebrities you guys want me to see do next, please leave those in the comments box, but comments box down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!